Good day YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. And today I want to talk about beaver fever. What it is and how you can prevent it. I also want to talk about pocket filters that you can carry with you and also the, um, the chemical tablets that you can use to treat surface water to make it suitable for human consumption. And finally, I'll show you the system that I use for filtering and sanitizing surface water. So if you happen to drink untreated water from a beaver pond or any other surface water source that might have been used by animals, you risk getting beaver fever. And what that is, it's a gastrointestinal illness that's caused by the Guardia cysts, um, Cryptosporidium, or E. coli. And what they all, well, they all have similar symptoms in that you get severe stomach cramps, vomiting, and diarrhea. And in elderly or, um, or children, it can cause death. In a survival situation, you can't afford to get sick. So it's really important that you treat any water that you're going to drink. Commercial filters are used to remove the cloudiness, the suspended particles down to the microscopic level, and also to remove the bad taste. There are many commercial filters available on the market, and some are quite expensive, but there are other less expensive pocket-sized ones too. The Aquamira Frontier Filter. It goes for about $10. It's a two-piece unit and it filters 75 liters, or 20 gallons, and it claims to remove 99.9% .9 of Guardia and Cryptosporidium. The Aquamira Frontier Pro, at about $20, it's also a two-piece unit, it filters 200 liters, or 50 gallons, and it also claims to remove 99.9% .9 of Guardia cysts, and cryptosporidium. The life straw at $30 is a little more expensive. It's also a 9 inch one piece unit and because it's 9 inches long it's really too long to fit in your pocket so it comes with a lanyard. It can filter a thousand liters or 250 gallons and it claims to remove 99.999 of Guardia cysts and Cryptosporidium and it also claims to remove E. coli. Also available are water disinfection tablets. There are basically two varieties, those that use chlorine as an agent and those that use iodine. Some taste better than others but they all do the job. Coglins uses iodine one tablet to one quart, and it takes about 15 minutes. Potable Aqua also uses iodine. It requires two tablets per quart, and it takes 30 minutes for it to do its job. Oasis uses chlorine, one tablet to one quart, and your water's ready to drink in 10 minutes. Aquamira also uses chlorine, one tablet to a quart, and it's ready in 30 minutes for room temperature water, but up to four hours for cold water. If you really want to be sure your water is safe to drink, after filtering it, you can sterilize it further by treating it with the tablets. The filter I use is the Pristine Pioneer Pro which is the Canadian version of the American Frontier Pro. With this filter, you can drink directly from a water source. You can screw one end onto a standard soda pop bottle. So you'd fill the bottle with the dirty water, screw this on, pull the cap off, and then bite the valve to drink the water. You can also Attach the straw to the base of the unit and drink directly from the puddle or pond. And you can also use this as a drip filter 
by connecting it to a bottle like this. So you connect it to the bottle like that. And then you'd remove the bite valve and just hang it upside down like this and it will drip. So that could drip into a cup or something. So you could just use gravity to, uh, to feed it instead of having to suck on it. And this hose allows it to connect to standard hydration packs. I also picked up these Aqua Tabs at Canadian Tire. 50 tablets for about $12.95. These use chlorine as a disinfectant agent. One tablet to one quart of clear water. Two tablets to one quart of cloudy water. You're supposed to mix it well for 10 minutes and then let it stand for 30 minutes. I keep a quart sized Ziploc bag and a few tablets in the back pocket of my Les Stroud Ultimate Mountain Survival Knife just in case I'm ever separated from my pack. I also carry some in my EDC pouch. These tablets also have safe handling instructions and poison warnings because eating a tablet would be a very bad mistake. Read the package instructions carefully and keep safely out of the reach of children. Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here and today we're going to do a demo of my water filter and also of the AquaTabs. So as I showed you earlier, this is my water filter. And what I'm going to do is drink out of a container. I'm going to attach the straw here. All I have to do is just put the straw into the container of the pond water and then bite the bite valve and drink it up. There. There, it's as easy as that. Now, when you store the water filter in your pocket, the way to do it is to make sure you store it this way, upside down, because otherwise the water is going to drip into your pocket. The water that's left in the, uh, the carbon filter will drip into your pocket and make your pocket wet. Okay, so now I'm going to demo the tablets. So as I said, I carry a Ziploc bag, one liter size, one quart size, and I also have a straw that was cut to length so that it would fit in the bottom of the bag. I'm going to put water into the bag, just by holding it open like this with two fingers, and just letting the water seep into the bag slowly, because I don't want to, because I don't want to pick up much sediment. I want the water to be quite clear when it's in the bag. That way it'll use less chemicals in order to sterilize it. That's about half a liter. Getting close. There. 
that's about a liter. Okay, I'm gonna put one Aquatab in there. They're very, very small. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that. The tablet is extremely small. Okay, so you can see the tablet right at the bottom of the bag there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to seal the bag, shake it around for 10 minutes, and then let it sit for 30. So that's what the instructions say to do. Make sure the Ziploc is good and snug so I don't want to splash it all over myself. And there. I'll do this for 10 minutes and then I'll be able to wait for half an hour before I actually drink it. So now what I'll do is I'll just put that in my pocket and in half an hour I'll get a drink. Catch in half an hour. Okay, it's been a little over half an hour. Open this bag up. Straw. Okay, I gotta tell you, it does taste chlorine. -y. It tastes like pool water. Yep, it tastes pretty bad, but at least all the the microbes are are dead, and uh, this water won't make me sick if I had to drink it. Yeah, it tastes pretty bad. Through the filter is way better. Um, the carbon in the filter filters out all the bad taste of the pond water. And it doesn't have, well, it obviously doesn't have a chlorine taste. So don't take chances with surface water. With a little preparation, you can make sure that it's safe enough to drink. This is Muskrat Jim, signing out.